Eastman Kodak, and uh, you could see, uh, you know, it's changed the symbol a little bit because it really uh, it went under there where they had the, their uh, Chapter 11 uh, issues. Um, and you, what we're really just showing here and outlining is that, uh, you know, a lot of this can really show uh, not only the bearishness, very the, the simple bearishness of this pattern, but if you understand the behavior, what to expect, a lot of times you you can get out of a certain bed, uh, certain positions, um, you know, almost unscathed. Uh, depends on where your entry is, obviously. But let's just give a, a kind of a, an example here. Um, you know, they usually call that a, a dead cat bounce. You know, when you try to buy off the bottom here, and, and the whole point of that that concept is the cats don't bounce. You know, uh, very well. Um, and so what you've got to continue is really what you think about is momentum, or um, you know, uh, I, I like to use an analogy of a, of a of a of a ball, a tennis ball. If you were to bounce it, you know, the first time it bounces, it has more energy. Second time, it doesn't. Let me just, if you keep that thought in mind, I'll show you what I mean here. Um, now, say for example, obviously you kind of get into a position, you see these, uh, see this pretty big decline. Now. A lot of times you'll see this is an exaggeration of the move, and a lot of times you'll see, um, you know, you'll you'll know you're getting very close to that. Is that they start to it, it becomes almost unbelievable the the, the momentum here. Got to allow sometimes it, to give it maybe two days, but a lot of times it snaps back. The problem is when it snaps back, most of the time people don't really want to exit out of that position. They they think they're going to always get a better scenario. So instead of them getting out, uh, you know, on the next day or maybe better the next day after that, um, they don't uh, exit the position. Now, if you look at this, you could see the high of that day was 163 on the next bar. But in reality, what was the low the prior day? It was 54 cents. So if we just use some real common sense, it really, from the low, it doubled, more than doubled. It tripled. So... If you just said, okay, well, what's, you know, uh, what's, uh, we're going to see three times the low or an approximation of what, what could I expect? It's unreasonable to expect a move back up here. First off, where you see a break when it comes into these breaks, you're not going to see that move for quite some time, if at all. Um, and then you see this next move, and this is now your next resistance. So chances of seeing that is probably nil. Then you see this next move, and chances of getting to that range is going to be, you know, extremely nil also. But especially because that's where it opened. Now, see, if you look at that, that's where your, your resistance is. So very unlikely to get out at the high of the prior day. So you can't expect that. What you can have some expectation is getting out where you see the open is, or nether resistance, or, uh, you know, uh, open or close of the prior day. You can figure out where some support is. If you look, here's your prior open for the prior day, and here's the open uh, for the next day, this big trading bar. So you would, if you just set your your uh, your trade as a realistic, even if you got into that position, um, saying, okay, well, I'm going to get out uh, right on this support resistance at 161. Guess what? You would have been out, and you would have been out at the high. And look, you never see the high again occur. If anything, it just continues to slide lower.